I guess when your life is easy, you can just sit around thinking about nonsensical things and just basically just make up a world in your mind that's as easy breezy feel good as you want or if you want to you can make up a world in your mind where it's just everything is just gloomy and dark or whatever you know and in all honesty no shade to the smith and pinkett family but these kids need to take drug tests because you know i think something might not be right in that household this is really really insane like the shit that i see them saying on social media well really willow and Jaden, the older one the one that's the half brother i don't really i think his name is trey i don't really see shit about him but as far as willow is concerned and Jaden, some of the stuff they say all the way down to the things that they wear and everything i guess they're trying to be free thinkers and be free people but actually you know I'm going to do something about this, a blog and a video. I got to do a vlog about it at least where I'm going to talk about this. I thought about it, you know, for a long time now that it's really funny to me how people, for example, will become a goth because they're like, well, if I dress in all black and I wear gloomy, odd clothing, black lace dresses, whatever, out in public, I'll be something different. I won't be conforming to society standards. When in all actuality, becoming a goth means you're performing to gothic standards, which are a sub society standards. You're still submitting to the standards of society, just a smaller portion of society. You know what I mean? It's like there's, you're still a conformist, but you're crazy enough to think that you're some sort of free thinker or whatever. But anyways, I'll talk about that another time. Here's what Willow Smith had to say on social media. She said on Twitter, and I quote, Society has been built on the control of female sexuality, thriving purely off of our degradation and suppression. And another tweet, she said, and I quote, I have a love-hate relationship with NASA. And she did not explain what the hell that meant. I know that that's really random, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about her first tweet real quick. And then I'll talk about the NASA thing real quick, too. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Society has been built on the control of female sexuality thriving purely off of our degradation and suppression. It's funny she said that. Society has been built on the control of female sexuality. I thought that society was built on slave labor, at least here in America. Basically, people being put to work for free in one capacity or another, whether it's jail the way that they used to enslave people in America, their slavery going on underground people and people's basements and stuff like that in certain sites and whatnot where they have these people doing all sorts of things. So I thought that that's what America was basically built upon. Also, the drug market and human trafficking, which, of course, those humans that are trafficked become slaves in one form or another, including sex slaves. And a lot of men are victims of that, which almost nobody ever mentions. Now, as far as controlling female sexuality, you control your own sexuality. But what I think is really disturbing about it is that she's about 14 years old saying that society has been built on the control of female sexuality, thriving purely off of our degradation and suppression. You're 14 years old. How much sexuality do you have, Willow? I mean, why are you on the Internet saying something like this? And where the hell are her parents when she's posting disturbing messages like this? If my 14 year old daughter was on the Internet, talking about the control of female sexuality and people thriving off the degradation and suppression of it, I would tell her, sign off. I would say you need to go learn something about what you're talking about because society is not built on controlling females specifically. What about men? You know, you got these little boys that got raped by the Catholic Church, by these preachers and whatnot for how many years? Nobody believed them. Then most recently, a lot of those people started to get in trouble for it and they started to be taken down but it took forever to do anything about it the only thing a woman has to do is scream rape and everybody's like oh let's kick his ass or kill him you know that the society's programmed to believe that if a woman just accuses a man of anything he might have to be taken out that's the way this society set up it's, it sucks that it's like that the literally only thing a woman has to do is accuse a man it doesn't matter whether or not he was being falsely accused the point is hey you as a woman you piss him at rather as a woman if she's pissed off by something a man said or did or even just his presence alone 
people feel the need to protect her ego not protect her but protect her ego and i think that that's amazing that people could be brainwashed to that degree but that's unfortunately the society that we live in that's the way that things are at the moment but i don't think society is built on the control of female sexuality i've never i mean i've heard some old feminist bullshit before but that right there is the most self loathing not well thought out i mean don't get me wrong her stupid comment was well written it was definitely well written the way that she worded it it sounded as if there was something severe going on you know and does she mean the control of female sexuality as in these these teachers that are fucking all these boys at the schools is that what she's talking about I, I need to know specifically what the hell she even means by that. But she said thriving purely off of our degradation and suppression. When are women degraded in this society? I mean, the last time I checked, women are the ones doing the degradation. Men's bodies are considered to be absolutely nothing. The woman is a sacred cow. You know, they're like now i can understand this like for example when she talks about suppression yeah women not being allowed legally to be topless in public i would go as far as saying that that is a form of suppression but the reason why they made that law saying that women couldn't just walk around topless is because they think that they're protecting women by not letting women walk around topless which I think is ridiculous because what if a woman needs to breastfeed her child? I mean, women have been shunned for breastfeeding their child. And part of the reason why is because they feel like as if you're giving something away to men. They feel that if women cover up their bodies, then in so many words, they're put on a pedestal above men, not just morally, but socially, the covering of the woman's body means that a man has to work for it to see it he has to do something like you got to give her something you got to give this one a ring this one's a stripper so you don't have to give her a ring you just give her a handful of money but you see what i'm saying like you got to give her something for it you got to work for it as a man that's why women's bodies are covered it, at least that's what i think but i i think this this shit is so freaking ridiculous thriving purely off of our degradation and suppression how be specific we're in society or women being that degraded and suppressed i mean i just don't see it maybe i'm tripping maybe somebody can come to my comment section and please explain to me the who when where why and hows of the society and without calling me names and all of that stuff because i'll just block you delete your comment or whatever if you come to my comment section trying to talk shit but if you have an actual answer without any shade without you being facetious without you being mean if you just really have a real actual comment to post i will take your words seriously even if i disagree with you but don't come to my comment section talking shit but i want to know how society has been built on the control of female sexuality thriving purely off of our degradation and suppression in 2015 in may 5th of 2015 cinco de mayo she posted that stupid shit Anyways, uh, maybe I could talk about this in length another time when I really have time to really think about what I really want to say. But I just wanted people to know that this 14 year old girl's on the Internet saying this crazy shit. But this sounds like the precursor to her coming out as a lesbian. I'm just saying I'm not saying she is a lesbian. I'm just saying it sounds as if she secretly hates men deep down inside. But anyways, and I'm not going to talk about why I think she may actually feel that way. But she seems to do some masculine things things like the way she dresses sometimes and even down to her haircut her hairdo and then Jaden seems pretty effeminate sometimes so I wouldn't be surprised if both of them are I don't know bi or whatever it is that they are but I'm not trying to you know say that that's what they are I'm just saying that my personal observation is that they may not be straight but when your parents are Scientologists allegedly because remember, I'm not saying that any of this stuff is actual fact. I'm just saying that this is my opinion and my observations, you know, for legal reasons. I'm just expressing my opinion and my views. That's all. <clears throat> so I'm not trying to be fucking with them. <laughs> they got too much money. I could be sued into oblivion. They could sue me to a powder and then sniff me. 
So, no, <laughs> I don't want any static. But anyway, as far as just saying she has a love-hate relationship with NASA, she didn't even explain what the hell that means. That's just odd. Does she mean that she feels that they're doing some good, but then there's some bad? And if so, well, what is the bad part of it about them exploring space? Which, of course, I know the answer to that question on my personal level because I don't give a fuck about NASA. I don't think that what they're doing is important, generally speaking. I think they need to stay on Earth, and I think that the money that that NASA is using could be used to feed hungry children or something more important than playing around with. I mean, don't get me wrong. I I think satellites are good, you know, for some things like TV reception or something like that. But for the most part, I think that people need to stay on Earth and stop playing around in space because there's too many problems on Earth to be worrying about putting a metal ship in space and flying around it's just asinine but that's just my opinion let me know what you think about it all below be sure to subscribe to the meat magazine youtube channels and visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more excuse me for rambling senselessly i did not really think about what i wanted to say before i turned my microphone on i just knew i wanted to say something because i'm like why the hell is this 14 year old girl on the internet you know saying the things that she's saying and where the hell are her parents when she's posting crazy messages like that like shouldn't she talk about that with them shouldn't they maybe explain to her the world and way <laughs> the way that things work and the fact that what she said was just really extreme she said it as if what she was saying was just the ultimate truth and that's the reality that nobody wants to speak about or something like she's some damn crusader I mean, I just think that that's extreme to say that that's what society's ran on. I mean, I just think that that's really crazy. If that's the case, then maybe female porn stars should trade their salaries with male porn stars because the female porn stars sometimes make a thousand or even thousands of dollars, while they say the male porn stars might make five or six hundred dollars. I mean, there's definitely no income equality among those men who are just flesh dildos, basically. And if men weren't the ones that were being degraded sexually the way that we really are the penis pill market wouldn't be in the billions but it's actually men who are being degraded all the time but this is all my opinion let me know what you think about it all below be sure to subscribe to the meat magazine youtube channels visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more